Oh, look at that. Foltest in a different dress. Mm. These guys are not the best, but just I just added them. But they're not really doing too much. Okay, we have good cards, but that's not the tricky part. Swords I smile at. Weapons I'm actually a little score. concerned about like making anything too strong. You might just go and send the gaunter on me. Just pass. Hey, tumor on the nipple. What's up? Hey guys, so don't be tour. For the last! On my channel? Isn't that hard to find? First time here? Well, we are playing some Brewer. I, I'm quite into Brewer at this point, and uh, the patch didn't change that. Although I'm kind of planning to make mostly on the off guard deck and uh, some of the monster deck with Wyverns from YouTube only so far. I've been told that those who are coming from YouTube are under the impression that I've been all the time. And uh, that uh, turns out to be false when I when they come to Twitch. You love my YouTube channel? Well, thanks for that. I tried to put in some effort. No, well, at, at least try to be somewhat consistent with uploading some videos. Actually, I should pass. Well, he got out uh, Fault is charged. And, uh, we're going to round two. Yeah, we gotta throw back two traps. Yeah, we're probably playing Ragnarok. Does he have bitchers? Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Well. Yeah. We're playing Ragnarok. Because we can't really risk. Not having a long round three. What do you think of the patch so far? Well, I'm only playing it for like two hours. It's well, considering that it they, they only changed the numbers on the cards. Of course, some cards got completely obliterated. Uh, like... Uh, like the spear. I'm thinking what to play here. Because we might need to play a Brewer. So we need to play a 6 here. But there are no obvious candidates. The obvious candidate may be a Hawker Smuggler plus a Brewer Hog uh, push, or maybe a Kieran. I think it's gonna be a Hawker Smuggler plus a Brewer Hog uh, push. Actually, never mind that. End turn. Almost messed up. We can just. Uh, Play a sword master. Let us sing the song of steel. We just get back the cards. Although playing the Ragnarok seems like a waste. 
if he decided to push us, it would have been catastrophic. So, we need to put back a crushing trap. And now it's risky. Because we can get a crushing trap. These, these would be better. But we're kind of risking a break here. So, I think that's just gonna be a no. It's hard to say what to do here, because uh, either we go with Dobletana Sentry in the front, or I can just play Mahakam Horn so he has nothing to hit, but he might want to play some value generator early on, and I can just play surprise him with a Pitfall Trap, but then we lose that Elven Scout value, so I think it's a toss-up between Horn and Sentry. But just playing the Horn by itself should be enough to discourage anything big getting played right away. You missed the old Baron. I didn't like him too much. Spear and shield and are dead, and crack is unchanged? Come on. I I'm most annoyed by the Marauder not getting nerfed. I would like to see the Marauder go from uh, 4 provision to 5. You miss old everything? I miss old close beat the spies. That was good. So, Doblatana sentries are to be swapped? Yeah. Um, these guys are kind of okay, but they kind of serve as a filler. I think we're gonna have enough uh, move, so I think I would have just simply, uh, if if I didn't have the chance of drawing into a crushing trap, like it's a bit of a toss up. But I think I would have just simply thrown back a Brihid Dragoon. Your perfect spy decks. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. In a way, he... He baited the lock. Although, he's not even that useful. So, let's play an Elven Get Scout. I have a lot of movers, six mover, we have double crushing trap. That was his last sorceress. If you play the pitfall trap, he's gonna know for sure that's a pitfall trap. But I don't have too much of a choice. He has a lot of weaklings. Bison reveal. So what do you keep Boover for? Uh, mainly to line up. Uh, the crushing trap. Humans are not to be trusted. Although we can consider saving lock for something more impactful. I don't know. That's gonna generate a lot of value. And also can be immune to the trap. Crushing trap. It's just gonna heal up. So our goal here is 
Pretty damn simple. We want everything on the same row. We play Crushing Trap, one before last. Uh, Dorvitz Gambit. I'm just gonna play the Pitfall Trap sometime. It's actually an interesting time to play the Pitfall Trap. It is possible that... Actually, it's likely at this point that I'm just gonna Brewer uh, the ones in the front, in the back. So we can get some extra value. Better decks also dead. <laughs> they were so fun. Uh, we do have a Ragnaros. Ragnarok! It's basically as close you can get to a better deck in the new Gwent. Better is just not worth playing. Wish it was. I don't want to move him yet, but I also... What are we gonna get with the Pitfall Trap? We're we playing a mover next, then Jorvitz Gambit, then Vrhi Dragoon. Yeah, that's the plan. He probably has a Gaunter. Just to restore. Okay. We are not using Brewer yet. I just do that. I know what I'm doing. Oh boy. Does that count as played? I'll manage. Yeah. It does! So time for Jorvitz Gambit. Play the crushing traps in the back. Do not play Brewer yet. Those last two cards are gonna be... Gonna do some heavy lifting. We can move them in the back. Actually, I don't have to do that too much. It's not a bad idea. I think it's better if he has less stuff. So, I'm gonna move him in the back. Man. I'm just gonna move this back. Ah! 
I have enough units in the front. So, good luck doing 40 points. GG! So, this is the Brewer style. It's a really cool deck to play. It's definitely actually my favorite currently, so. But one of the favorites for sure. But my current top one. GG!